Welcome to another guitar lesson. My name is Sparky Parker and today I'm going to show you what to play over the five chord on a blues guitar solo. All right. In the key of G our chord would be a D7. So let's look at the chord and see what we got. So we have a D, we have an F sharp, we have a C, and we have another D. And if we keep going, on that seventh chord, we would have an A at the top. All right, so we wanna play the changes. What do we play? Um, one thing I like to play is I like to highlight the two or the second scale degree, all right, and the five, all right? So what does that mean? Well, if you're looking at your pentatonic scale, which everybody should know by now if you're on the blues lesson. So what the two over this G blues pentatonic scale would be is, a, is an A note. So we're gonna add that in there. All right. That's our second scale degree of our G pentatonic scale. So I like to highlight that on the five chord. And why is that? It's because it's part of my five chord. So if I play this, you know, if I play that top end or even a D9 chord, that note is involved. So I like to highlight that one. Now I'm obviously not the first person to do that. This has been done for years and years and years and years. Um, so that's our second scale degree. And we also want to highlight the five of our scale. And that is right here on the B string at the third fret, or you can think of it right here. That would be on the fifth string, fifth fret. Those are both D notes. Those are both the five. Or. All right, so I'm landing at the end of my lick, I'm landing on that five. All right, so that kind of builds tension right and that's what we want to hear in the blues right now once we go to the four chord then you'll kind of get off of that note and then everybody's happy right all right so what are some easy licks that we can do and some good sounding licks that we can do well here's one this is lick number one All right, you can hear that five chord in the lick. So I'm starting here, third fret, second string, going to the sixth fret. Then I'm on the E string, I'm gonna hit three and five. And then I'm going back to the second string and hitting six and three. All right, that's lick number one. Let's do another lick. This is more of a Stevie Ray style lick. Now you can do all kinds of variations of this lick if you want. Okay, now that's lick number two. Let's do another lick here. Now what we're gonna do is highlight another note of this chord. Now we can highlight the F sharp 
because right here we have an F sharp inside of our five chord. All right, so one way to do that would be play it right here. All right, and I like to go either hammer on or slide to it or bend to it. Okay, so bend to it from the F to the F sharp. Or hammering on or sliding. All right, so that would be like this. In context, right? Now, an, e an even cooler way to do that is play it up an octave. So you could play it right here. So I'm bending from that F to the F sharp and then landing on my five, which is D. So in context, it might sound like this. So you can hear that change to the five without even hearing the chord changes. You can hear it in the solo. All right, because I'm highlighting that tone of the chord, that F sharp and that D. Okay. So let's call this lick, uh, this would be lick number three. All right. Now you can take that and you can add to it and make your make your own look out of it, but I'm gonna have this tabbed out on my Patreon page so that you uh, have a reference. All right, so let's do one more lick for the five chord. Now this is kind of like a BB King style. Simple as that, BB King didn't need to say a lot on his guitar to make you feel something, right? So um, now what he's doing is he's Landing on that second scale degree that we talked about earlier, that A note, and he's just holding on to it. All right. And then he would say something else after that to release the tension that he built by playing on that too. something like that you can add your own thing but if you let that hang on that fifth fret first string sounds really good right so I'll have that tabbed out that is like this so we're gonna hit the fifth fret first string and bend it up then third fret and back to fifth fret and just hold on to it. And then you could add whatever you want after that. All right. So those are those four licks will be tabbed out for you on my Patreon page. You can check that out. And hopefully this helps you on what to play over the five chord in the blues. And um, be sure and like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in some more guitar lesson videos.